What is up guys, Pro Technology here, and today I just want to show you guys the three easiest ways to record your iOS 8.2, iOS 8.3, and iOS 8.4 screens. This is compatible on iPhones, iPads, and iPods. The three methods are completely different on how they record the iOS screens, so you can briefly choose which method you want to use. So first of all, I want to show you guys that I am using iOS 8.2, but this is also compatible on the iOS 8.3 and 8.4. So the first application to record your screen is called Show. You want to head over to a website called www.emu4ios.net. I will also link this URL down below in the description. Then once you're in this page, you want to download the application shown over here. Click Get and then click Install after the next tab pops up. Once you've installed EMU for iOS, you want to click on it. Then the first application, Show, is what you want to download. Once you're in the Shows page, click Install, then it will start installing automatically. It is very fast. Once you've installed Show, you want to open it up and over here you can see there's two selections, Broadcasting and Recording. To record your iOS screen, you want to choose Start Recording. Then over here, if you're recording most games, you want to go in iOS Settings, General, Accessibility, and Access Touch. Then once you've done that, click OK and now it has already automatically start recording. Now you can show what you want to do, and then once you want to stop recording, you can click on the top red bar or open the application again and click stop recording. Now, to see your recording, you want to go on the recordings tab on the bottom. Then, my one, my video that have I have just recorded is this one, and then I want to click on it, and I can play through this application or save to camera roll and play in the camera roll application. Once you've done that, you can also transfer this to your computer and then you can upload it to YouTube or what you want to do with it. Now the second application you're going to use is called AirPlay and the application name is actually called Air Server. So what you want to do first is slide up the notification bar and then click on the AirPlay tab. Then Select your computer, then on your computer, your iPhone screen will pop up and you can record from your computer. Now you might be thinking about how to record your iOS screen from your computer. Well, simply you can open QuickTime Player, which is attached from when you buy it, then click File, then New Screen Recording. Once you've done that, click that red button. then. You can select the iPhone screen. Once you've selected your iPhone screen, click Start Recording. Then now it is recording with QuickTime Player. Then after you've recorded, you can click Stop Recording. And then there is your new recorded iPhone screen. Now, the third way to record your iOS screen is by using ScreenFlow 5. First, you want to open up ScreenFlow, then click Command N, then select Start Recording. But before you select Start Recording, please make sure that you click Record Screen from then your phone. Now, there is some disadvantage. You can only record iOS 8 screens, and you will also need a device above iPhone 5. Now, once you've selected record screen from, then the name, you can start click, click on the red button, then it will automatically record your screen. Then, the good thing about ScreenFlow is that you can edit from what you've recorded without moving them. So, now I hope you feel familiar with these softwares and still there is more wonderful things you can do with your devices. Click on the top video to know how to install Nintendo DS and PSP emulators onto your device for free. Click on the bottom video to install Game Boy Advanced on your computer for free. Also, don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date. Have a great day guys. Peace.